If it's conservative, if I'm looking for something liberal and realistic, this is the place to be. Hello, welcome to our podcast where we deal with issues affecting the youth and the community at large. In the previous episodes, we have been talking about uh, Aurora, financial literacy, and uh, I want to draw uh, particular attention to the episode where we spoke about the issues that are troubling the youth in terms of them not getting married. So the guys had their session, the ladies also had their session. And we decided to bring a young couple on set to discuss and to give us advice. They um, they are ahead of us. And as you can see, there's a gap here. It means uh, they are together and we are, I'm, I'm still single. So we are here to actually understand um, their process. And with me on set today is Mr. and Mrs. Katona. Welcome to our podcast. Thank you very much. I would like to ask the, the outfits are matching. Is this an everyday thing? Um, or oh, is it just, just a coincidence? coincidence? No, I think it's an everyday coincidence. Oh, it's <laughs> an everyday coincidence. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll try by all means to almost look identical. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, is there, a, is there a, a significance to it? Uh, what, what happens, happens when you guys, guys fight um, in the home? Yeah, so, so the reason why the outfits are almost similar mm -hmm. is if you, when you do fight, mm -hmm. it just reminds you that you, you're fighting, <laughs> but you actually have more in common than not. Than, than not, so okay. So sometimes it's, it's something that quickly you know, hits you and not to remind that, oh, okay, so the reason is Mm -hmm. But doesn't mean that we actually not together. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I'm going to go back to that one. But uh, let's, let's talk about your journey, right? Uh, in the previous episodes, we, uh, the, the, the gents were talking about their struggles. So now, school um, they're not ready. They haven't found their rib yet. And the ladies also mentioned issues to, to, to do with they're still pursuing an education, a career, they're still job hunting. They want to enjoy on their own. Um, please um, tell us about your journey uh, before marriage, uh, how you guys met, and how you got to the actual Aurora. You want to start? Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so we met at a youth gathering. Okay. okay. Before we met at the youth gathering, mm -hmm. we actually went to the same school. Oh, yes, like uh, the same high school. But when we were at school, I never mm -hmm. used to talk to this guy. Like, okay. I didn't like him at all. Wow. <laughs> you know, just a guy yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I was just a guy who I thought, hmm, okay, a lot of girls <laughs> like this guy. Oh, I'm okay. not, like, I'm not the, I'm like... It was just a cool dude. Yeah. 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 So I didn't <laughs> like him at all. We never used to talk. Um, okay. Yeah. So with the same school, minding our own business, was minding my own business, he was doing his, and then we went our separate ways. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, how many years later was that? Five? Three. Oh yeah, three okay. years later, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. There was a, a, a youth social. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my brother, who I used to stay with, and wife, were the heads of uh, the youth at our church, at City Center Church. That was in Bulawayo. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I it's remember... City Center thing. Yeah. It's a, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I yeah. remember that <laughs> particular Sunday. I actually didn't want to attend the, the youth thing. Mm -hmm. But because, I mean, I stay with the elder who's in charge of... Okay. It's like mm -hmm. everyone is going. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, went there and um, it was about to finish. Okay. When we arrived. Mm -hmm. And then that's when... I saw him again. And then, the dying minutes. Yeah, uh, like in the, <laughs> in the last minutes of this program, it's yeah. about it. So I, my brother had a, had a baby. So he comes over and he says, oh, hi, you now have a child. I'm like, 
no, it's not my child, it's uh, my brother's child. Okay. And then that's where the conversation actually started and it was, yeah, it was the beginning of everything to today. Okay, so what I'm drawing from this is place matters, the, the, the meeting environment. Had you met, let's say, um, for, for crying out loud, had you met maybe at the airport or at a, at a race course or anywhere else that was not um, uh, a convenient youth gathering, do you think the outcome would have been the same? No. Like you're saying, so yeah, place does matter because okay. it was a relaxed environment mm -hmm. and we had ample time to talk. Okay. I'm sure if it was at the airport or something else, oh, hi, how are you doing? Like there's no space for a lengthy conversation or anything to say, so what have you been doing? How's life? Mm -hmm. Things like that. Okay. All right. So to the viewers, it matters where you meet. All right. Yes. Secretary. I'm going to say... The fact that uh, we met in an Adventist setting, um, I was born in an Adventist church, and that's all I knew. You know, as you grow up, you the, the sermon that keeps ringing is uh, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers and, and so forth. So when you get to um, a, a a church social, and you you see this person, and you just feel this magnetic. Uh, attraction, mm -hmm. right? It already tells you that I think she's probably the one because she she attends church programs. Okay. Yeah. So her faith and her other beliefs her, don't have a place here. But the fact that where you're meeting is a church setting and it almost feels like it's the right thing to do. Okay. okay. So what then follows after that is Okay, you struck a conversation, right? Um, how are you? How have you been? Oh, is this your daughter? Because I mean, mm -hmm. three years is a lot of time. It's a lot of time. Yeah, so after high school, <laughs> someone can just have a baby after that, and yeah, you know, things bad. happen. Yeah, yeah. So I, I needed to be sure if I was walking into a lion's den or, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so you know, it's not it's my brothers, and it was, you no, know, they were so cute together. They really looked like, you know. And so from there, the conversation started. I, 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 I didn't propose or, uh, well, in, in, in other terms, I didn't chaff. Okay. Yeah, there was just conversation. Right. And we were vibing really good. And the program ended, we went our separate ways. Okay. Then we didn't have phones. All we had was oh. landlines, <laughs> right? Okay. okay. So we exchanged our landline numbers. And I was quite sharp, and my my, my my number was quite was quite simple, so I just gave my number, and yeah, okay. yeah. so oh, got home. Her, your number. Yeah, 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 I also got her her, her okay. number, right. but well, I'm the one who called first, mm. so got home. A day or two went by, and then I called. Ah, uh -huh. oh, hi, yeah, oh, well, well, we, we spoke, like the previous conversations. It was, yeah. it was just conversation, until a time when she would call and I'll actually go under the dining room table, yeah. sleep there, have a long conversation. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and every time the phone would ring, yeah. my mom wouldn't even answer the phone. So oh, okay. yeah. She knew. Yeah, she would just shout. <laughs> hey, when I put that phone in Apple, yeah. you know, then I'll go and we would talk. <laughs> so we, we hardly actually had like physical contact uh, oh, okay. in probably first three, four, five months of our we, what, what, what was the, the we, you were both in Beloya. Yeah? Uh, what was the, the, the distance between the two of you? Okay, so it was intentional not to meet? Yeah. No, I no it, it, it wasn't intentional. So I, I just finished high school. Okay. Um, and I just come from Botswana. She was also done with high school. and okay. She was at home. Well, actually, what, you were I was Polly transitioning then? to Polly. Yeah. yeah, she was starting to to, to go to school, and so I wasn't. Time. Yeah, so, dude, I didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any plan. So I wasn't going to be going into town for nothing. So I'll just be at home the whole time. So so yeah. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Okay. So, yeah, so we, we, we kept on talking on the phone until I could tell that, okay, I think I, think, I, think I can try. 
Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I, I, I spoke the word. Yeah, a little bit love, and it was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let there be love. <laughs> yeah, I should have done it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, tell us. <laughs> so to this yeah. day, I actually say to him, but you know that you actually didn't ask me out. Uh, and then you laugh about it. <laughs> so I guess it was a... Um, it was a, a friendship, I'd like to call it, okay. that grew into, it grew to an extent where we got to a mutual understanding, I suppose. Mm. Okay. Because I don't remember a time when you actually said, no, I actually like you, so can we go out? Mm. Did you say that? Uh, no, I, I, was, I wasn't about to become, <laughs> um, you know, that guy. Or, okay. Yeah, I like you, so uh, can we what try this? Totally. Yeah, you know? Yeah. You know, it's, that's a really stupid question. You're going to ask me also, I told you. No, you know, it, it, it kind of it, it defeats the purpose. You know, if you, if you have to, to ask, I mean, if you have to open the door for you to be seen, uh, it, it, it kind of, it's like he's, okay. you know, okay. yeah. Um, Women, ladies, girls, oh, okay. they they love it sometimes when a guy is like straight out with their intentions. Okay. Because at times you will read into someone's intentions mm-hmm. and you're reading it all wrong. Mm-hmm. You're thinking, mm-hmm. oh, okay, we probably, we both like each other. Can't to know the other guy is not feeling it's the way mm-hmm. you are. So sometimes <laughs> it's always okay for you to then state your intention so that I know what I'm also stepping into. Oh, okay. Because imagine if I'd said, oh yeah, we're mutually agreeing. And then months later, it's like, no, but I just, it's you know? Yeah. So for women, we're emotional beings. That's not a nice thing for you to be into a guy. Okay. And the feeling is not the you same. Not so sometimes it's okay for guys to actually say, no, I actually like you. How about, okay. you know? Yeah. yeah. I want to come, come back. back to the baby issue. Say she actually had a baby. Would that, been, would that have been a deal breaker for you? I want to draw attention, or I want you to, to then tell me what were your deal breakers when you, were, um, when, when you were pursuing her? What then did you consider? Apart from that she was the same faith, uh, let's say she actually had a child. What would have been the future? Okay, um... I want to put this disclaimer. Okay. I wasn't pursuing her. Okay. We met, uh, and I felt some kind of attraction towards her. Okay. So at this point, it's 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 not about love. Uh, I like. I just saw something I like, and when we spoke, she actually spoke like a person I want to speak to. Okay. So that was it. Mm-hmm. First few weeks. That was, it was just conversation. Yeah, yeah. and th- this was probably the reason why I didn't even say, yeah, so I like you, uh, you know, mm-hmm. that kind of a thing. Yeah. So uh, it was an acquaintance that I knew from school. Now we've met, we spoke, oh wow, she's, she's that kind of a person. Mm-hmm. So we, we kept on talking. So in my mind, if this child was actually her child, uh, I'd be interested in knowing where the father is. Uh, okay. If the father is not there, and, uh, well, I, I don't know. I was still young at the time. But I think, I, I think if, I'm, if, if, if I remember well, my intention would then be, oh, okay, so, ah, Jim M. Wani, guys. <laughs> you know? And uh, it's, well, it's a story for another day uh, uh, for a different audience, yes. uh, probably in the... the, the yeah, you know, but uh, my deal breakers yeah. uh, were I, I am always attracted to very smart people. Okay. Smart in terms of intellectual. Intellectual. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so don't they? Ladies, and gezai, please. Gezai, it matters. Gezai, and you gotta be smart as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so when you when you speak to someone. Um, Conversation is not supposed to be about the weather or about ah, this preacher is boring or whatever. Oh, okay. it's, it's about something that can turn into a development. Uh, okay. Yeah, and she was that kind of a person at the time. Okay. And like I said, I was this guy, if you see my photos from back then, you would not believe a lady like this one 
we'll go for a guy like that. Oh, we actually really? have the picture. No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, I, was, I was really skinny, um, no plan, very uh, broke. Okay. Yeah. But I think I was just a guy who, who knew that my present situation was not going to determine how far I was going to go into, uh, into the future. Okay. Yeah. And um, it was just about conversation, not okay. love. So your conversation for you was a deal breaker for you? Okay. All right. Uh, what are some of your deal breakers? So I've always failed to answer that question, actually, oh, okay. because um, I'm one person who, when I get into, it could be a relationship or a friendship, mm-hmm. I don't get into something so that it breaks. Okay. I mean it wow, to say, nice. yeah, I really put my all in it. Mm-hmm. But because we grow up and then we experience life, we've got feelings. Mm-hmm. I guess my deal breaker will be if I actually really try with you, and you know that I've tried with you, mm-hmm. and you're not um, appreciative of that, I then remove myself from it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so definitely uh, we are seeing that it's not necessarily about stating your points down and saying uh, if they don't have this, if they're not light, if they're not uh, such a height, uh, probably fine. That may come into play, but um, from what I'm getting from you guys is just gelling with the person. Yeah, yeah and, and being compatible with each other. Okay. Yes, and, and for me also, honesty matters. Honesty. We know that the truth hurts, mm-hmm. but you'd rather tell me the truth compared to battering me up. Okay. okay. Yeah, so I'm a person who, who, who appreciates when you're not happy about something, just say it. Mm-hmm. Don't be saying, yeah, you expect me to then guess to say, okay, just tell me to say, no, this I don't like. Oh, okay. So, okay. in as much as it would hurt or something, just tell me mm-hmm. the truth. I think that's what also then brought us this one because this guy, he just... He's honest. Yeah, he is, but I think I'm just brutal. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what actually happened was um, in, in this whole circle of honesty, yeah. uh, I came as I was. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want to portray myself as this person. Broke, skinny yeah. guy. Yeah, I didn't want to. Portray, I, I didn't portray myself as this guy who had things and, you know, we actually lived in a very affluent uh, area. But that, that wasn't about anything. Mm-hmm. I was me. I wasn't anything about my parents, where I come yeah. from, mm-hmm. and what, what happens. Yeah? And I was really open about what it is okay. about me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's where it all started. And I, like, I, like, I like that. I think it's a point to a lot of guys. A lot of guys are in the rat race, or they constantly want to impress ladies. Yet, you find ladies who actually like you for who you are without trying too hard. Um, not everyone wants uh, someone who's established, I guess. Uh, someone wants to actually build with you. Yeah, so I, I, enjoy, I enjoy what you, so what you said. Um, let's go back to the matching outfits. What other things uh, between the two of you are reminders that you're together or are similar apart from the matching outfits? Do you have other things that if you try to go this way, then you definitely know uh, how uh, it reminds you? Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a tricky one. Yeah. I think we've just grown um, to know each other and just to, to be in sync. Mm. It's actually quite difficult for us not to be in the same space. Mm. We basically do everything together. So, so your likes and interests interest are the same? same? Definitely not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a very different person. Uh, my interests are a bit too heavy for her. Oh, okay. Yeah, some of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, she still so tags along. Uh, yeah, she okay. does. Right. And uh, most of them are dangerous. And she still <laughs> wants to tag along. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know what? Yeah. Maybe not this one. Okay. You know, but uh, they they're all quite helpful. So I'm a, a guy that wants to go out there and do things, mm-hmm. and she's a lady who wants to be there for you all the time. Okay, so supportive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you know, sometimes I don't want that support because what I'm getting into doesn't need support, mm-hmm. but 
I'm never lucky with that. She's always the, you know, yeah. And I'm actually happy for that because I don't need Zora, you know. Yeah, because some of the things, but sometimes uh, they have the eagle's eye. They will see into that plan and say, okay, dude, uh, if you break a leg, I'm going to spend six months nursing you. So let's not do that. Yeah, that kind of a thing. I appreciate that. Um, I'm just showing that you guys compliment each other. And uh, just as a recent sermon said, you need to support each other, meaning that she'll never let you go bare and you fall because it still goes back to her. Uh, I like that. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I want to say, um, for what I just said, right, it dates back to where actually the relationship started to mm -hmm. say, I think for our relationship to actually go stronger, we spend a lot of time together. Okay. Yeah, so you'll How find that. How many years was this before you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> it was a good seven years. Wow. Yes. Seven, seven years. years. Seven years. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Yeah, so in those seven years, you'll actually be shocked about how things just happen. Uh -huh. Okay, so let me just give you a brief history. So I'm not the girl who you'd call and say, yeah, so let's meet by the shops or whatever. No, if right. you want to see me, you come home. Oh, to okay. your mom, your parents. Yeah, I used to stay with my brother. Okay, okay. So my dad passed away. Okay. Yeah, so I used to stay with my brother and wife. So I'll tell him to say, if you want to see me and you're serious about this thing, this was a time when we'd moved from friendship to Something relationship. Serious. Yeah, right. you have to come and see me at home. Mm -hmm. And he thought, oh, yeah, I'm joking or something. But eventually he came home. Every time or sometimes? Every time. All the time. All the time. Did you have to go to Peter you didn't know that or you just bring it home? No. Oh, lucky yeah. you, man. Lucky home. you. Yeah, yeah so. We no, just... there, there was no luck in that, actually. <laughs> I was fortunate that the. The brother was open minded. Okay. So that actually allowed me to come and see her. Ah. Yeah. All right. Because um, there's a lot of dangers uh, when you're going to uh, the full courts. Yeah. Right? Because you might be tempted to, to be there longer mm -hmm. and you are in an appropriate space together. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately for me, uh, she had like, a very strict upbringing. Okay. Like myself, but I uh, was uh, one of those, ah, but mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I didn't have uh, uh, what to call them. Uh, wife benefits on the wow. wedding tender. Wow. I, I okay. didn't do any of that. You wash your clothes through and through. Actually, she only started washing my clothes when we got married. Wow. Okay. Yeah. The only thing she did was food. Wow. At her house. I covered you. It's at her house. Yes. You wanted to so, so I could get you cut her house. You know what? <laughs> this is what I want us to do. Let's round off this segment, then we get deeper into that after this. This is our podcast, and we are talking about getting married or Rora, and we have Mr. and Mrs. Katona. I am Ronald Yamkoa. We are going to have a part two of this podcast, and we are going to dive deeper into their relationship, how they then got to get married, and their life after marriage. Is conservative. If you're looking for something liberal and realistic, this is the place to be. 